Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what are the best practices for SQL Server deployment. And uh, I have put down about 10 of them. These are high level important best practices as far as my experience goes. Now, obviously, best practices changes from organization to organization and also from your environment to environment. So these are just uh, coming from my own experience. And number one up here is proper process should be in place. I'll give you an example of proper process. Let's say that you have uh, environment development, test, UAT, and production. You should never uh, get something from your development environment and directly put it in production environment. It should always follow the process of going in test, testing is done, that is good, and then going into UAT, be a, uh, a went ahead and uh, give you the green signal to put it in production. So that is a kind of pro proper process that I had in mind when I put this first point right here. Number two, approval management should always be part of SQL Server uh, deployment. You need to have uh, uh, approval. Uh, you, you shouldn't make any changes in your production environment um, without approval of your management. So that should be a part of your process. Number three up here, rollback. This is very important. Rollback should always be the priority. You should, uh, being a DBA, you should always be thinking that what if something goes wrong? So when you think that, then the changes that you're making to production or any environment, then things will come in your mind whether I need to take the backup of, your, of, your, uh, of my database, uh, whether if it's going to update a couple rows, then I should ask the development team that give me provide me a rollback script so that if something goes wrong and data is not right, I can run that rollback script. So uh, these are also these points best practices are inter interdependent on each other. And that's why I called it high level and important. Number four up here is schema changes. If uh, so, uh, you're develop I'll give you an example of a schema change of adding column or dropping a column. So that would be a schema change. There are a lot of uh, schema compare tools. You can use also Visual Studio and a lot of organizations are using third-party tools such as uh, Redgate. They have a SQL compare tool which will compare the schema. And the good thing about those tools are when you compare the schema and if it's just schema related changes, then back behind the scene when you, when you uh, sync uh, your uh, source with your target it takes the snapshot of your target so that if you need to roll back you can use the snapshot and your target and it will go ahead and roll back for you so always consider uh, if you don't have that process in place uh, please look into this you visual studio uh, 2010 and onward will give you a facility to compare the schema and sync the changes between source and um, target Number five here, running a script. Sometimes there are a few data up, up, updates or, or can, can happen on your production server. Uh, sometimes they, uh, uh, your uh, application support team will send you a script in order to um, do the break fix right away. So consider that when you do that, um, when you run the script on uh, using SQL Server Management Studio or any other uh, SQL tool that you run the script with, consider using uh, up here the rollback uh, strategy. In my case, it would be begin TRAN, and I would not commit TRAN until that uh, transaction is basically um, ran successfully and provided me affected rows what the developer or uh, this application support person who sent you that script was expecting that. So up here again, the communication is the biggest part. I have put it nine. I should have actually basically put it on number one. This is very important. So uh, number uh, number five right here depend on when when you get the affected rows. Let's say it it mm, uh, application person was thinking who sent you the script that is going to. Um, Effect only 10 rows in that particular table and it has affected 200 rows You shouldn't really commit that change. You should always call him or send him an email. Is it ex uh, expected to um, if uh, 200 rows to be affected by this script and if he says no no Then you have a chance right there to not commit that transaction that will save you a lot of time and number six up here backup if if there is a table changes in the data as far as 
data concerns and as far as schema concerns then you can go ahead and back up the affected table in another schema uh, if you uh, right now we're not living in world of SQL Server 2000 in 2000 it was uh, very hard to uh, create another user schema but uh, in if it you're using SQL Server 2000 then you can uh, use uh, dbo underscore that table name underscore backup and my strategy always been in this case if table data is critical and at least 25 percent is being impacted you can go ahead and take the backup of that particular table i have worked with the uh, um, with, with with some companies where i will have everyday changes and their rollback was back up the database back up the database well i can do that if database is small if database is big first of all it's going to take a long time to back up that whole database number two we will run out of space soon because we're deploying every day and uh, i should put 11 point right here that deployment really shouldn't be every day it should be uh, the maximum it should be once a week deployment in production not every day so if it's uh, uh, you are in a situation where deployment is kind of every day you can't afford to take the backups you need to basically let your developer know that I am not accepting this rollback strategy if this is these are the tables that are being impacted take the data and it's a data related take the backup of that uh, particular table not entire database backup and also put it up when you take the backup put the retention period when you can delete that backup table so number seven up here if database data or schema being impacted more than 30 percent and the database is critical you should go ahead and take the backup of the database sometimes we run into big deployment monthly deployment uh, also referred as monthly deployment monthly deployments are very heavy and uh, the strategy always should be go ahead and take the backup of the database because it's being impacted a lot number eight up here uh, if um, your manager tells you that uh, if something goes wrong in this database and it is very critical we need to roll back immediately your strategy should be take a snapshot of the database and then do the changes once the changes are done and everything is confirmed then you are okay if not then you can roll back really easy this should be basically number one communication you should always uh, uh, communicating with your development team with the proper management and everything since it's production so keep in mind I'm talking about production and um, up here number 10 backup 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 that doesn't mean that go ahead take the backup of every database that you are touching what it means is that uh, keep in mind that any deployment that you do you should always think about what would be the rollback what what can I back up that I can really go ahead and basically it's, it's time you know when when you uh, when you do the deployment and uh, something goes wrong you need to have your system up and running in less time and that's when the good DBA will do uh, uh, put the strategy um, you know for for the whole DBA team to see that to take a backup of whether it's going to be backup of a table if it's going to be a backup of just a schema or if it's going to be a backup of uh, entire database or you wanted to do just the snapshot so that's why I put number 10 right here backup 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 means you should always have uh, something to fall on if something goes wrong and I hope this uh, high-level practices of for SQL Server deployment helps you